right. Welcome back. Today I wanted to go over one last simple thing before we go on to the bigger guides. And that is how to make your own USM files, and those would be the anime cutscenes that you see in P5. And I basically just want to show you how to replace those with your very own custom video files. There are a few caveats with this method, and I'll have to talk about that as I go along. So first of all, here's where you would find the videos. They should be in this movie underscore je dot cpk file. And if we open that up with our cryfs lib gui, we can simply drag that in there and extract these movie files. So let me extract this to my downloads folder. Here's how you would decode a USM file so that you can turn it into a video file that you can actually watch. For this we need to download something called cridmod.exe. You can get that from Google Drive in the description. And once I have that, let me put it in the same folder as the USM file, and then up here, I'm going to highlight it and then type in CMD, and then I'll press enter. And that's going to open up the command prompt in that folder. And next we have to enter the following command, which is fridmod.exe b, and then this code, a, and then this code, and then VXS0, and then the name of our file, which is move001.usm. So we can close this now. So we now have a M2V file and an ADX. Now here's one of the issues I was having. I haven't been able to successfully extract the audio from a USM yet. So if you tried to open this ADX, right here it says uh, unsupported format or corrupted file, so we're not actually able to listen to the audio, but we at least have the video. I know certain video players would be able to open this, like for instance I'm using MPCHC here, and now I'm able to actually watch the cutscene, just without any audio, and there's also no subtitles or anything like that. So yeah, this could be useful if you wanted to dub over it with your own audio or do any kind of intensive editing with the existing cutscenes. But if you just want to create your own video that replaces this one, then you don't even need to do this step at all. So here is an mp4 that I already made. And it's just a very simple 1080p mp4 video. And I want to use that as the opening cutscene in my mod. So in order for us to convert this to a USM, we need to download yet another thing. Let's go to the internet archive and let's search for Cryware SDK. Not in the Wayback Machine. You actually want to go down here and do that. And let's get this one. Just download the 7-zip file and wait for that to download. And of course you do need 7-zip installed to open this. Okay, so here I am extracting that from the 7-zip file. And if we go in here, you need to go into fryware.7-zip and extract that as well. Just simply run the installer and wait for that to finish. So now if you go to your C drive, in the Cryware folder, you can go to the Tools folder, SoftDAC2, and scroll down until you see the SoftDAC2 encoderwizard.exe. Just run that. You might have to install some .NET thing really quick. So once you launch it, this should pop up. This says SoftDAC2 encoding wizard, and you have to select a platform. For now, let's just keep it set to standard. Next, we can choose the video source. So I can go into my downloads folder and choose that mp4 that I made. And for video codec, let's choose bp9. And it's already 1080p, so we don't need to change this. And next, use audio included in video file, audio codec ADX. That sounds good. Uh, next, it's asking for a subtitle source, but I don't think it actually uses the subtitles embedded in the video. Uh, more on that later, so we can just skip this. And next you can choose a quality, and keep in mind the higher you set the quality to, the longer the encoding will take, and the larger the file size will be. You can also set like a target file size or bitrate up here if you want, but I'll just keep it standard for now, 
and I'll choose next, and you can choose where to output the USM file to. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll go into my mod and show you where it would go. So we would go into the P5R Essentials, CPK folder, main CPK, movie, and then move001.usm. And that looks good. Let's click next and wait for it to encode. Just press the start button right here and wait. Uh, looks like I got an error. We do have to do one more thing first before we can do this process or else we'll get a license certification error. Go back into your Cryware stuff folder and also extract the contents of this folder into wherever you installed the Cryware stuff. So if I drag it into here, I can just replace whatever's in the tools folder. And now it should be good. So let's try that again. Let's press start. And now it's actually working. Like I said, you'll have to be kind of patient with this because it can take several minutes, especially the higher that you have the quality set. But yeah, once you have your USM file, you might be tempted to just start the game up and see how it looks. I regret to inform you that there is one more other step we have to do first before it will actually run because the game will just kind of seem to lock up right here and the log will tell you that there's an issue with the encoding. So what we have to do is we have to download one more thing and that is this usmbreak.exe file. Let's copy that file into where we have our usm file. It's still creating the usm file so it's not quite here yet. There we go. So now that it's completed we can delete this other stuff so we're just left with the usm and let me do that same thing I did before where I go into the address bar here and I type cmd and then enter. And now I have the command prompt open to this location. So here's the command that we type this time. usmbreak.exe and dash in equals move001.usm and then out equals move 001 inc usm and then dash key equals and then we put this key and when I press enter now it should be encrypted so we can delete the original and rename this and now when we launch the game everything should be good so if you look there, you'll see that the original subtitles for the unedited cutscene are still showing up. And that's the unfortunate thing I wanted to address, which is that I don't know how to fix that at this time. So if anyone has any ideas in the comments, let me know. And you can just change the animation subtitles and the settings to be off, and that will at least hide the originals. So I guess if you wanted subtitles in your video, you would have to like bake them into the video. But I will show you one thing I know about this problem, which is that the subtitles aren't found anywhere in the actual video file. The only place I could find the subtitles was inside the EXE itself. So to give you an example, here is some of the text that was extracted from the EXE. And this seems to pertain to the different translations of the video subtitles. So if I tried to search for some of this in here as a text string, you'll see that that matches up to what we see here in the dump. Basically that means you would have to edit the EXE in some way in order to get rid of these subtitles or change them. Or maybe in the future somebody could make some kind of reloaded mod that hooks into it and replaces the subtitles at runtime. That would be nice. But until something like that exists, that's still kind of an unsolved issue we have with modding this game right now. But anyway, with that out of the way, thank you for watching, I hope this helps, and please look forward to the next video in which I'll finally talk about how to create custom models in P5R. See you next time.